you know, there were questions as to whether or not Jason Tatum could lead the Celtics team to an NBA title, but he got the last ward with a resounding win in this title-clinching Game 5 in which he led all players in points and assists. In a season where a title was the expectation for many, Jason Tatum and the Celtics are now on top. We did it! Tatum poured in 31 points, but the Celtics star did it all in Monday's clinching win over the Mavericks, adding 11 rebounds and 8 assists. This is going to be a night that I'll remember uh, for the rest of my life. To have a, a big win, the biggest win that you could have in front of your home crowd, um, I, I felt like that was really important to go out there and do everything in my power to make sure we won this game tonight. The win, a career-defining moment for the 26-year-old who faced questions after the Celtics came up short. Questions he clearly heard. These last seven years has been a roller coaster. Up and down. I had to listen to all the <laughs> that people said about me. And tonight, it was worth it. Now the Celtics stand atop the league with a record 18th NBA title. And Tatum finds his career in a place it wasn't before. Everybody that they consider greats or legends have won a championship. And all the guys I looked up to won a championship, multiple championships. Uh, so now I can, I can like walk in those rooms and, and be a part of that. And on this Monday night, a day after Father's Day, the win capped off by a moment between a champion and his son. He told me that I was the best in the world. And I said, you damn right I am. <laughs> and the best in the world, though, was still quick to congratulate his teammate, Jalen Brown, who was the MVP. They've been compared so much to one another, but tonight it was all smiles and sharing in the joy of an 18th banner for these Boston Celtics. Live outside of TD Garden, Stephen Quinn, 7 News, today in New England.